Hey everyone, I wanted to do another little video that talks a little bit about uh, the calendar and also the, our gradebook setup. Uh, okay, so once again from the calendar we can see the different events that we have and when we need to do them. Um, there, So once we have done the prerequisites, uh, this one I've done the prerequisites for because it no longer says that there are prerequisites. Down here I can see that I have some more videos that I need to watch. Uh, but I could go and just click on this benchmark types of data. Go click on this and then I could actually do it. Or I can also click on this button right here that says that I could redeem my late pass. Uh, so a late pass, all students have uh, 100 late passes. Um, it's more than the number of assignments that we have. So you can use a late pass on every assignment. Um, each assignment can be can have one late pass applied to it, and what it does is it extends the deadline out by three days. So essentially what it does is it takes the due date from being midnight of Wednesday, and it makes it to be midnight of Saturday. So all we have to do is we just we click on the redeem late pass, and says I have 100 late passes available, I can redeem one, and I'm just going to go ahead and click redeem my late pass. And now if I go back into my main page, check to see where that benchmark is due. Now it has that the due date is on Saturday. Now I wouldn't suggest doing your late passes for every single assignment. Um, if you tr I try to keep the class at a good pace and so the Wednesdays is a good time to have it done, but I totally understand people need to have a little bit of flexibility. So if you need to push a late pass, you can. Um, and, so that's one way that you can apply the late pass. You can also uh, go into, if we go into our grade book, we can also click on a use late pass here. So these are all of the assignments that we have open so far. So these are all of them in our core one. So we've got a whole bunch of them open right now. Um, and we have the different certificates and we have this core report. So we've got, there's a bunch of stuff that's out there. The nice thing about this is that we can know what our grade is at any given point. Um, so we can actually see, uh, we can actually see how we're doing. It's important to keep track of your, your grade inside of your grade book uh, because sometimes it's happened before, uh, but it's really rare that uh, a student will do an assignment and no grade will be given. If that happens, uh, it's a good idea to check back uh, with me to see if anything has gone wrong. Uh, the caveat to this is though that whenever there is manually graded assignments, uh, so sometimes that happens in the certificates and a few other places, um, those won't be automatically graded, so you'll just have to be patient until I get those, uh, get those all done. But this is where we can actually see our grades and our entire gradebook. And if you notice that these different colors show us kind of where our um, points are going. So we have points into coursework and points into the certificates. As more um, spots show up, like we'll have activity grades that'll pop up and we'll have our exam grades pop up, we'll see a couple extra colors. Now as for the breakdown of the points, uh, let me get a different view real quick. Let's grab this guy. I am going to, give me just a second. The breakdown for this, just so that you know what's going on, is activities are worth 5% of your grade, coursework is worth 20% of the grade, certificates and reports are worth 15, and then the remaining 60% is based upon basically the exams. Now right now it's just set up with a midterm and final. I believe that's what we're going to do. It's possible that I will extend out uh, to four exams. Each semester I either do four exams, one after each core, or two exams, the midterm and the final. And I will uh, let you know later about what exactly we're doing for this particular uh, semester. Uh, but kind of in a nutshell, that is how we use our, uh, our gradebook, how we can actually see our grades, and how we can kind of keep track of what's going on. Now, I want to show one more thing uh, about our gradebook. Um, just note that uh, when you do have grades, oftentimes that you will have two columns of scores down here. One is the past due, so anything that's been past the deadline is graded, and then sometimes you'll also have one that says everything available. Oftentimes the everything available has a much lower 
uh, grade point, and that's just because it's counting all of these benchmarks and guides and certificates, even though we haven't covered that, that material yet. So the one that you want to pay attention to is the past due totals. So hopefully that helps you out in understanding how our gradebook and the gradebook setup works.